Once there lived a king. He had everything he wished for. But one fine day, three questions came across his mind. The questions were, What is the most important time? Who is the most important person? And what is the most important thing to do? He became pretty restless and to find out the answers, he went to his ministers and asked the questions. The ministers, after listening to his questions, replied, Oh, Your Holiness, the most important time is the time you became king. To the next question, they replied, You are the most important person because you are the king. And to the, his last question, they replied, King, please expand your kingdom. It is the most important thing to do. But the answers he got didn't satisfy him. Realizing this, the chief minister got worried, as now his job was in danger. So he suggested the king to meet the saga who lives on the mountain at the edge of the kingdom. The chief minister knew these questions were deeper questions, and only that saga could answer them. The next day, the king goes along with his 20 soldiers and reached the mountain by the dusk. He thought it would be inappropriate to meet the saga with so many soldiers, so he ordered them to stay there and started to climb along. As he reached the top, he got very tired, but somehow he reached the cave where the saga was meditating. So he waited for him to complete the meditation. But after a long three hour wait, the saga didn't wake up and thus the king decided that he would spend the night there and in the morning he would ask the questions. So he puts down his turban and sword and goes to sleep. The next morning he wakes up with the sunlight streaming in the cave with beautiful bird songs and fresh air. He gets up rubs his eyes to see the saga is not there. So he walks out of the cave and goes to the edge of the cliff to see the glorious sight. He could see his whole kingdom from there. He was amazed to see his glorious kingdom and the beautiful sight brings a huge smile on his face. In his palace, every morning was so different. The first thing he gets is bad news. All his ministers and spies would come and tell him what wrong is going on and tension, tension, tension. But as he is standing there on the edge of the cliff and admiring his kingdom, his heart just connects and realizes that this is why he is the king, to serve all these people. Just then he realizes someone is patting his shoulder. The king turns around to see the saga standing there. He has the king's sword pointing at him and looking deeply into the king's eyes and the saga says, King, tell me what is the most important time? Who is the most important person? And what is the most important thing to do? These three questions hit the king and a twinkle comes into his eyes. The saga realizes this man has got it. So he puts the sword down and says, King, now you can go and rule your kingdom. Now you might be wondering, where are the answers? You should deeply think about these questions. If you were the king, what would you say? Standing on the cliff, Saga pointing the sword at you. Question was, what is the most important time? All our concepts about time, past, future, all that dissolves in the moment. There is only the now. All the thoughts vanished when the king saw the sword pointed at him. So there is only the now, the present. Everything else is a story. And the quality of the story is the quality of our life. Next one is, who is the most important person? Someone may say jokingly, the guy pointing the sword or some may say yourself and that's the correct the person you are with is the right answer but it happens upside down when we are say with someone we are 
preoccupied with ourselves. We are thinking about our own things or what we are going to say and when we are on our own we think about other people. So the most important person is the person you are with. If you are on your own, you are the most important person at that point of time. If you are with someone, then that person is the most important person at that point of time. And the last one is, what is the most important thing to do? Remember, before the saga came, the king felt tremendous love and care for his kingdom. The most important thing to do is to love and care. Be more kind. I pray that God listens to your prayers and alleviates your sufferings. May he bless you in the right path.